Welcome back YouTube, Judo Flukari here, and in this video of the Pokemon Tournament, I'm just gonna show you guys some of the Lucario combos, or in the combo dojo. This is just... Well, we're just gonna stick to the com... We're just gonna... I've done all the combos, I'm just gonna be sticking to the standard combos, I'm not gonna do the Synergy Burst ones, because, let's be honest, you don't really have a lot of chance to practice those outside of here. So it's much easier just to stick to the air combos. Now one thing I actually want to say before I go any further is I've actually got my own custom controls. I changed the controls to suit me because I felt the controls that I was originally playing with wasn't... I didn't just... they didn't feel right to me. I'll try to refer to them by their original button commands. I'll upload another video talking about my controls if you guys are curious. But for now we'll just um... I'll try to refer to them. I'm pretty sure Y was the Pokemon attack, A is jump, X is light attack, and B was heavy attack, or vice versa. But I'll just talk about the combos and some other things about them. So we'll just go with combo one. It's just the axe kick into standard attacks. So I'm pretty sure that was either up X or up B into... It was either up B into forward X or vice versa, but... Pretty standard combo. Actually, this, that first move, that axe kick move, combos into so much. I can't really show you because if I do the combo wrong, they block, they... And they just go back. So that's basically the first one. Standard combo. Whatever you prefer. Just that axe kick jump. You can... You don't have to press um forward. You, as you saw there, you can just tap A. Your opponent can block either, they're just blocking just to be dicks and to show that's not the combo we talked about, but I don't care. Next one, this um, this is pretty much a very similar combo, but the game recommends you do it this way. I have a better way of doing it that just feels easier, so we'll just demonstrate it. It's that axe kick again, into the standard up move, and then into an attack. I kept my Y move the same, so Y is the same. So again, it's um, that axe kick into this, and then it's meant to be the force palm back and Y. However, sometimes you have to hold down the button for a certain length of time for the force palm. You have to get the timing just right because if you hold it down not long enough, well you actually get them. But if you hold it down for too long, or you input the wrong command like I just did, <laughs> just ignore that. If you hold it down too long, you miss. So another thing you can do, instead of pressing back and Y, you can actually press up and Y and into extreme speed. I just feel that move is so much easier to pull off. It's You just have much less chances of messing this up. It's just easier to do than... Wait, sorry. Than this. It just feels easier. So that's just another little quick combo. You can do this. Or this. Whatever you prefer. I also feel that um, sometimes after you go for the um, move that knocks them into the air, if they block that, then you can do something like, just imagine they block and then you delay, then go for um, the extreme speed as they go to maybe grab or counter attack you. You can just hit them back. So whatever you prefer, either. I messed up the timing. See, that's, that one's easier to mess up. So you can do that, or that. Because if you mess up the timing on the force palm, you miss the move. If you, you don't really mess up the timing on the extreme speed. The only downside to extreme speed is if you go for it and they block pretty much the entire move, you will have landing lag and you will be punishable. So just imagine you blocked and I land. He's still on block, he can then go for a grab, he can punish me, and that's basically the only downside to the extreme speed variant. Now we got this one, this is probably one of my favourite combos because it's so reliable. It's basically a counter attack into a follow up. So for counter, I know it's X, A on the original commands, but for me it's B and Y. So you press um, X and A and then you press forward Y, but for me... Just, and then follow up. It's a great combo because if you do counter an attack, 
you can then throw out a follow-up. And there's really not much to say about that one. It's just really good, but of course, if you go for this and they counter you, that's okay because the next combo fixes that. The next combo is just the last. This combo was just done with a more powerful one to follow it up. So it is a bit differently because they use the um knock up move. That's it there. But if you want to, you can do it into a counter. If they'll let me show it. They can block it easier, but if they think, oh, he's just used his Bone Rush attack, I can um now go for a punish. You go for a punish, you will hit them, so it's whatever you prefer. That is more guaranteed. Well, this is more guaranteed. Well, it's not really, because you can miss it there. You have to get the timing on this one. That's why I think it's a bit more difficult. This combo is pretty much the hardest one to pull off, but let's say your opponent attacks you, you counter, follow up, and into another follow up. They can't, they won't always block. Sometimes they, well, knock them into the air. So this one requires timing, and I'm messing up my timing every single time. I think I paused a brief second there. Let's try that again. Yeah, you want to go for the combo immediately. So, if you, like, go for the Bone Rush, then, like, pause for a second, you will miss it. Pause. You miss it. So you need to go for it immediately. Okay. Now, as I said, I've not really dabbled into the, um, burst ones because I don't really get a lot of chances to practice them. Most of them are just attacks that follow up into synergy bursts. For example, and that just follows up into a burst. We're not really going to go into that one. Um, there aren't really many combos I've discovered on my own. The only real one is, um, I'll just get this quickly. Okay, so the other one that I could get, I need to get into, um, phase shift. It's just like, you go for down and B or down and Y, whatever your heavy button is. Trip them up, charge an aura sphere, and time it just so they get up, or just wait for them to get up into a grab. Nothing really special about that one. Pretty much, I'm pretty sure every character can do that one, but that's just what I'm do going for. So again, I'll show off some of the I'll show off the combos again. We had what was the first one? It was. The axe kick into the forward attack. That's it there. You got the other variation of that. The axe. Okay. Phase shift. Give me a second. Just need to grab him to get him back into normal. Get a phase shift. So you can go for the um the axe kick and just don't press forward. Just tap A. The axe kick falls up into so many attacks. You can do well as soon as I grab him. Um, Axe Kick into Force Palm. Axe Kick. Well, that's a combo we already talked about. Yeah, I just revert call that move an Axe Kick because that's what it really is. Or just Heavy Attack and Up. Um, Axe Kick into fo Bone Rush. Axe Kick falls up into so much. So I think the next one was, um, yeah, it was Axe, oh god, this phase shift kind of annoys me sometimes when I'm trying to show off combos. Okay, we got, what was that, Axe Kick into Normal and then into Force Palm. I can't, that kind of messed up because he was next to the wall but I still hit it. Or you can do the easier one that I prefer, it's the Axe Kick into Heavy. Neutral heavy and into the extreme speed. The next one was the counter one. So counter into bone rush. You can also do a variation of that one. Counter into bone rush if the field stops shifting. So you can do counter into bone rush into another bone rush follow up. Depends on if they're holding down their block. 
Well, that last one is punishable, so watch yourself there. Okay, the last one was pretty much the same thing, but just heavy and bone rush. It's sort of messing up because chandeliers against the wall. I want to get him away from the wall. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, right, be right back. Okay, we're back, so I'll go behind him just so there's not, so I can't back him into a wall. So it was the neutral heavy attack into bone rush into another bone rush, but that attack can be missed. That's why I'm not too big a fan of it. So and the field phase sh field shifted again. Can I get behind them? Because this is just going to back them into the wall again. Okay, let's try this. Oh come on. Yeah, this is probably the most difficult combo to pull off. I just find it easier to pull off from a counter, but it's more punishable. So it depends on what you want. Punish or the chance to miss. But okay, I can't get behind him when we're in this. Uh, let me think. Wait, I can. I can jump over him. Okay. Um, so that. That. See, you have to get the timing right, which is what makes this combo hard. I know I look like a scrub, but I've been doing this combo for... Quite a while now. It just knocks him away. Okay, I'm probably gonna edit out anything I do wrong just to make me look a bit better. Okay, um, uh, I'm trying to think. What's the? That's it. See, so you have to wait until he comes back down. So I'll show it one more time. A fail and an actual me doing it. Okay, so. This is doing it wrong if you just um get the if you do it too early. Yeah, we dash right past him, and he's gonna go back into yeah phase shift. So we'll get him back into standard. And obviously, if you do it too late, you're also gonna fuck it up. Yeah, that was too late because you he. he I pretty much attacked him after he landed and he was invincible while on the ground. So we'll just shift again. And this time we'll try and we'll get it right. I hope. Okay, so that and to that and I fucked it up. That's it. You wanna do it just as he's coming back down. So that's basically the bread and butter Lucario combos. Now, if you're wondering, like, if you are, if you're like me and thinking, okay, that's cool and all, but how am I meant to learn all these combos at once? I know it can be a bit overwhelming. So what I actually done was I used the single player. Like, we'll take that first combo for example. It was the axe kick into the forward, the light forward attack. I just went into the single player. Went to a league match. Time to take a support. Hope this will be some good old fun. And basically what I did is I just spammed that one combo, the B and up, over and over and over again. So the axe kick into the forward attack or the neutral attack. Relax. Remember, I just spammed that over and over and over. Watch. I need to grab him. Yes, I know I'm getting wrecked, but I just want to grab him there. And oh wait, no, 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 we were already in that. What I wanted, we already had what I wanted. We we're already in the field shift. There we go. Okay, so it was. I don't think it's in here. Recommended combos. Well, here's a couple of other ones, but those would just be easy ones. So it was this one. Oh come on, stand still. That wasn't it, fuck. It was just that. And then I just got back to a field shift. And I just done it again. I done it over and over until it became habit. Until I could do it without even thinking. And that's basically how it worked. There's nothing wrong with so, back and enjoying a battle. after I completed one league, I went back into the dojo, I learned another combo, the next combo. 
And I went, then went into the next leak and just done that combo over and over to a point now. I know these combos like the back of my hand. I don't even need to think about them. And now you can just decide which ones to throw out. So really, which one of these combos do you want to throw out? So the question is, which one of these combos do you actually want to use? Well, these ones are typically used in, um, like, if you've caused a field shift and your opponent's low health and you don't think they're going to play too defensive, if you're on the offense, you can throw out these combos. The, pretty much the combos I've been talking about, like the axe kick into up attack into the extreme speed, or the variation. Wait, that's not it. Wait, is that? That's it. But I wish I would stop getting crits. Because he's attacking, it's giving me crits, and stop giving me crits. Idiot. Yeah, the other one is just a trip up into the aura sphere. You can also do a trip up into a grab, whatever. But that one's just for if you're in the offense and you just want to rack up damage. The counter ones, that's not the counter one. The counter one is if your opponent's on the offense and you're on defense and you're just getting like backed into a corner and they're just attacking you, just throw up this one. You can also do that one if you just want to like close some distance. Like if you're this far away and you just want to get in close. You can just throw up that move to get in close anyway. But the reason I'd recommend you do a counter before or doing your board rush if you want to get in close because you can just do that. Or you can throw out a counter just to block in case they go for projectile. Just imagine he's going for a projectile, I counter it, there's my follow up. So that was um just the most of the Lucario combos that the game recommends. The only other ones I can really recommend are the trip up into Aura Spheres if they don't get back to the principal wall and this game would stop cutting out after I do the combos they don't want. But that's really it. So I'm John of Lucario. Thank you guys very much for watching and I hope you all have a nice day. I don't think I will be doing many other combo videos for other characters. The only character I know inside out right now is Lucario. I doubt that will change much because of course I'm a Lucario madman. I want to try God of War and I'm not too sure about any other characters. God of War and Lucario were the ones I was the most excited for. So that really works. Anyway, I'm John of Lucario. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you all have a nice day. Oh, for fuck's sake, quit the battle. Yes.